Good morning. I wrap things with your morning flash update, and this update is for Tuesday, the 21st of November, 2023, 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Well, we have a mixed market. Stock market down in some of the indices. As you can see, gold taking off to the upside. Very important. Breakout on my numbers back into the bullish trend. Dollar down again, giving a bid into most of the foreign currencies. And the yen continues to have a very strong bid. I've warned traders in my written update that you might now have to see some unwinding of the carry trade. The yen is becoming very, very strong. It might need to be replaced with another currency by those looking to do that. You can see you're just sort of meandering back and forth here in the uh, bonds and the notes. Energy prices down a little bit. OPEC meeting coming up this week. Grain market's getting a bid. Let's take a look and see what we've got here in the news. The Chicago Federal Reserve October National Activity Index, a negative. A prior number still had a positive. Now it's a negative 0.49. Red Book sales, no longer near the 4% area, honing in closer and closer to a decline of 3%, which matches lows coming out and lowering its forecast. You've already seen Walmart did that a week ago, and they've been punished big time. Home Depot didn't come out with the biggest numbers that we could have. I keep hearing the retailers saying this week, be it Friday and Monday, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday could be the st two strongest days of the holiday season for shopping. So you might want to pay attention to that. We get existing home sales for October. That comes out at 9 this morning. They're looking for 3.9 million units compared to the 396 that we had. Now, October still was seeing rising rates. November's where we actually end of October, beginning of November, is where rates started really declining. We get from the FOMC, the Federal Reserve, their minutes from the last meeting at 1 o'clock, and we're going to get today at uh, 3.30 the API weekly crude. So you're going to get all those numbers. You have jobless, coming, jobless claims coming up again, so you want to watch that for tomorrow. You have NVIDIA reporting today after the market close. And obviously, you know, they got to just do continuous beats, but they probably will. The stock market crowded. I mean, any way you want to look at it, you have an overbought condition in the market. That doesn't mean it has to stop going up. This is that time of the year where I cannot emphasize it enough. The traders look at the seasonality and it is solid to the upside in the NASDAQ, the Dow and the S&P. The Russell's in its own world because of relatively high interest rates. And you've got to keep that in the back of your mind. Traders that keep buying it saying, oh, that's going to change. I get what they're doing, but their timing hasn't been right. It's that simple. I'm more impressed with the gold moving out back over the 2000 level with falling interest rates, a falling dollar. One of the things I told traders was you've now removed the big headwinds for gold. It can look at longer term inflation and then start buying into that store and moving accordingly. And that seems to be just what is going on. Now, this and other events we talk about in our newsletters and our free offers to you. So, example, in the gold, we just did our price counts in the gold. I think you should take a look at them. Uh, our software, we have different charting software. If you get our QT, you can do your own uh, news uh, price counts with it. Then, all the different brochures that we have, the different courses, they're all through here, the free links that we have to everything. It is something you might want to take a good look at. All you need to do is go to irapstein.com. On the top left, you'll see free offers. Give it a click. Or better yet, move your cursor right up here if you're on your PC. It'll take you right there. Sign up and let us send it to you. I'm Ira. I'll see you at the end of the day with our market wrap-ups. Trade well.